Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Saturday. I hope you had a really great week and that you are enjoying your weekend. I am here to share my weekly home fragrance roundup. So we are going to talk about the candles that I burned as well as the wax melts that I melted throughout my house. Um, I have already decorated for the holidays. Um, I'll give you guys just a sneak peek over here. So my entryway is all ready to go. Um, basically the whole house is already decorated. Um, I wanted that to be done before we leave for our trip. Um, because once I come back, I really have to hit the ground running for work. Um, most of you guys are aware I am a florist. And so this time of year, I work on a lot of corporate orders and there are a lot of holiday parties that happen at the beginning of December. Um, there are several like corporate offices that I decorate for the holidays. So, um, and lots of like holiday parties at those offices in addition to that. So got a lot going on in December and I wanted to enjoy my holiday decor for a decent amount of time. So it's all up. I will be doing a home decor tour the week of Thanksgiving. So I will show you guys everything then, but I thought I'd give you at least a sneak peek of the entryway over here. Okay, let's talk about what I burned this week and what I melted. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with the wax melts first, which um, are falling all over the place. You guys know that I pretty much am loyal to Scentsy. I don't sell it, but I purchased Scentsy from my best friend, Lisa, who is amazing. By the way, um, if you have a moment, pop over to Lisa's channel. She recently lost her sweet dog, Deuce, earlier this week. He had been sick for some time and really took a turn for the worse last weekend. And so Lisa and her husband had to make a very difficult decision to help him cross over the Rainbow Bridge. Um, that loss is still personally very fresh for me as we lost our beloved cat Chi Chi earlier in the summer and she's really grieving that loss right now and um, I know that she really loves positive messages from people so if you're already subscribed to Lisa go over to her channel and just pick a video and just leave her some kind words because um, those of us who consider our pets as a part of the family um, know how difficult this loss is. It's absolutely heartbreaking and I'm ugh, I'm gutted for Lisa because she just loved Deuce so much. Deuce was her little buddy. Well, not so little. He was a big German Shepherd, but they had such a close friendship and relationship and she's just very, very much mourning that loss right now. So before I start crying, <laughs> Kind of been crying with Lisa all week because I just, ugh, I just, you know, it brings up memories for me and then I just, I feel absolutely awful for her as well. So, but, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty loyal to Scentsy, which I purchased from Lisa, obviously. Um, I just find it to be pretty consistent for me and I like a lot of the scents and they have some great holiday stuff out right now. Um, I think Lisa's going to be showing the cozy collection on her channel, probably, I, I, am, I think she's going to start filming again, so she might have that up this weekend. Um, I have it, and oh my god, it's so good, you guys. Um, so, so good. So one of the scents that comes in that collection, and these scents are exclusive to that set, um, is Cozy Spice. So I've been melting this in my laundry room, and you guys, normally spicy scents like this are not my thing. This is a gourmand cinnamon. It's kind of a strong cinnamon, but it has this like creamy buttercream base to it. It's like if you took a really beautiful high-end expensive cinnamon stick and paired it with vanilla bean buttercream, actually. Um, I've been melting this by itself as well, but this is, oh, it's so beautiful, you guys. It almost also has like a gingerbread man type of vibe to it. It's not like a straight up gingerbread scent, but it's kind of along the same lines. It's just beautiful. So I think I need to order another set or two from her because honestly, it is such a gorgeous collection. There is not a bad bar in the bunch. Absolutely beautiful. Also vanilla bean buttercream. I've been melting this. So, so good. Very basic. It's usually available year-round from Scentsy. 
it's delicious. It's vanilla bean buttercream. And then also in the, in the vein of all the things vanilla, um, happy birthday. Um, but this is more of like a funfetti um, cake batter type smell. Oh, it's so good. This uh, is a bring back my bar, so you can't order this, but you can order this brick like I did. <laughs> this is the Sugar Plum Berry Scentsy Brick. <gasps> you guys, I've already used three cubes. Oh, man. Let me tell you, heaven, it smells like sugared plums. And it has the most beautiful, slight, um, like, mandarin citrus note. And then, like, a fir or balsam type note. Like, like a Christmas tree type note. It is the holidays in a brick. So good. If you typically like my recommendations, you will love this. By the way, these are huge, huge chunks. Obviously, I divide these in half, so I cut them in half. Don't put a full one in probably most warmers because it will overflow. Trust me. Ask me how I found that out. <laughs> don't put a whole cube in there. Plus, you don't need to. It's too much. Okay. Um, oh, you guys. <laughs> Obviously, I'm in full-on holiday mode, so I busted out my three-wick of my Nest Holiday, and I had my first burn of holiday one of my favorite scents of all time for sure hands down so so beautiful um this is just all of the christmas scents in one it has a a tree note to it it has a mandarin note it has clove um it's just the most beautiful sophisticated blend this is my christmas fancy lady candle like this is what i burn when we have people over for a holiday party or for dinner around the holidays or this is what i'm burning on christmas this along with the nest spiced orange and clove and then birchwood pine it's the holy trinity you guys it is an amazing trio of scents that work so beautifully together um if you're into blowing some dough on expensive candles these are totally worth it totally worth it for me um i buy these myself nothing from nest is ever sent to me i spend my own money on these and they are so worth it so worth it in fact that is sitting right there i have a little vignette going over here uh with my little urine deer love it all right marshmallow fireside because it's perfect this time of year. Uh, look at the how long those wicks are. Woo. Oh, it's so good. Everybody knows this. It's available at Bath and Body Works. Marshmallow Fireside. Toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, and caramelized, not caramelized, crystallized amber. Amber. Um, I don't know how you would caramelize amber. <laughs> but it's delicious and delightful and a must for this time of year. Oh, this one, I am just like slowly burning this and cherishing it because I only have one left and Bath and Body Works are kind of a bunch of buttheads and they don't bring back things that I love <laughs> most of the time anyway. Um, this is roasted pumpkin butter. You can see I am, I am definitely past the halfway point here. I think I'm probably going to get another week of having this lit like for a couple hours each day and then... It'll be done. It smells like roasted peanut butter. Creamy, roasted, delicious peanut butter. Oh, it's so good. And everybody loves this one. I don't know why they won't bring it back. Anyway, um, in my kitchen right now, I have the Homeworks TSV Gourmand Bordeaux Fig and Raspberry candle going. Um, I will have an in-depth review of that tomorrow. I will also have an in-depth review of this for you guys tomorrow. I decided to review these separately because they will come back um, in a couple of years as like their own scent. Um, but for now, the only place you can get them is in that TSV. It's still available. I'll link it down below. Um, I really like both scents, but I do have thoughts. So stay tuned for those videos tomorrow. Um, they're separate, but they will both go up on Sunday. So stay tuned for that. So 
Those are the Homeworks candles that I've been burning. Um, back to Bath and Body Works, Vanilla Balsam. I've actually, ha I have two of these in my living room here. I have one over there and one sits on this table over here. Um, these were from, what year was this one? 2016 is when I bought these. Um, I love Vanilla Balsam. All of my wallflowers that I have going around the house right now are actually also vanilla balsam. So good. It is the... Did you just toot? <laughs> did you just run in here to fart? Oh my god. You guys, look at her face. Come. Come, come. Come, you little stinky stinker. Look at this stinky stinker. She just walks into the room and farts. Yeah, that's why I have so much home fragrance. <laughs> because I'm trying to cover up your home fragrance. <laughs> How can anyone resist a pug? I do, there are people out there who think pugs are ugly. I had someone say to me that they thought pugs were ugly. And I was like, you're insane. Not ugly. It is beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, beautiful. <laughs> She's an awful dog, though. Let me... I will tell you right now, I will be glad when she's not a puppy anymore because this dog is a handful, but anyway, she's adorable. She's probably going to go take a dump on my kitchen floor now. <laughs> um, vanilla balsam. Uh, so it's that classic Bath and Body Works balsam scent that they have, that, like the fresh balsam, mixed with a really smooth, creamy vanilla um, it just mellows that balsam out. For me, the balsam is a little bit headache inducing. Um, I do like my tree scents to be mixed with some other notes, whether it's a citrus note or whether it's a vanilla note or something like that. I just find that it mellows it out and makes it easier for me to enjoy, if that makes sense. This one's lovely. It is out again this year in the beautiful ombre glass that they're charging $27.50 for. So far, I only have one of those. I'd like to get another one or two because I know that I'm going to finish these by mid-December and I will want to burn it throughout December, so I'll need at least one more, but it's just hard to justify that price point of $27.50. I do have a 10 off of 30 and I also have some 20% off coupons, but... Um, I don't know, they're just, and we talked about this in one of my other videos, I just, I feel like their price point is getting to be too much based on the fact that most of the time I'm still having to put these candles in candle crocs. Um, also, so glad you guys are picking up the teal candle croc. Um, isn't it amazing? I mean, so many of you have come back and been like, thank you so much. Um, and you are very welcome. I love to share the love of the croc. Um, the price has gone up on it. It looks like it was $12.99. I think it's at like up to $18 right now, but I'll link it down below. Still an incredible deal. I still have to order myself one. Um, I think I'm actually going to pick up two more um, just to have like as backup. I know that sounds crazy, but my biggest fear is the candle crock futzing out and then I won't have it anymore. I just use it so much. So, um, Anyway, I don't know how I got off on that, but vanilla balsam is delicious. <laughs> this is this is what it's like in my head, like 18 to 27 different like thoughts just running every which way and occasionally like I get some stuff done in a coherent manner, but not most of the time. It's amazing that I haven't like run my business into the ground because <laughs> Like my inability to like focus on one thing, but hmm, look at me, I'm still here. Uh, okay, and then the last thing is a Bath and Body Works Blackberry Bramble Tea, just a little mason jar. Um, this one's so good. It's good during the fall. It's also good this time of year. It's kind of a nice blender. I've had this in my kitchen with all sorts of like other things going on in the background. I really enjoy that one. That's another one that has never come back. I know they came back with the Blackberry Bramble blackberry tea yeah this is blackberry bramble tea but they came back with the blackberry tea and that was it was not the same like it had some similarities but it was not the same and it was not as good and the burn sucked and it's just a classic bath and body works like oh you guys like it well then we'll never bring it back again type of move <laughs> which i hate them for but 
anyway. All right, there you guys have it. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Please subscribe if you're new. The homeworks videos will be up tomorrow if you're interested in them. And um, the holiday home tour will be up the week of Thanksgiving, so stay tuned for that. I'm very excited to share um, my decor this year. I think it's like my favorite that I've ever done. Um, it's kind of over the top. I'm sure by most people's standards who just put up like a tree and maybe a reindeer. <laughs> I went a little overboard uh, for those people, but I don't know, those of you who are decorators, I know you're gonna appreciate it. So, all right, have a great rest of your day. I will see you tomorrow and adios.